what's up everybody it is a it's a chilly Friday morning and today we are working on our workshop a 20 by 40 beast of a workshop here you're going to be milling a lot of lumber for this workshop especially for the main supports we have another workshop over there and it is 16 feet wide by 30 feet long and we have well outgrown that and that's going to become our online business office slash studio spot over there so we're going to be converting that over there so we will make sure to bring y'all along for that but today we are leveling blocks getting blocks laid out here and i guess we'll see how much we can get done on this slightly chilly day it's about 40 some odd degrees and my buddy from indiana is down and he's going to be staying here for quite a while so you will be seeing him in these videos so that's why so anyway here we go, y'all. So what are we doing right now, Rufus? We are drawing a line. Oh, yeah, drawing a line. We are tying off a line to give us a straight line that will also be level. And this will make sure that all of our, all of our uh, blocks are lined up, too. Everything is coming along very well on this build. Having four brains on the operation definitely does help. We all can share ideas and we've been brainstorming. We went from having to shim and do a bunch of stuff because we were trying to figure it out how to level this thing with one brick. But then there's about almost a one foot rise all the way down here. So as you can see, we actually needed to use a little bit of wood as a shim there. done for the day and we got almost halfway done almost halfway done the foundation here we still need to run a row down the middle and finish and finish that side over there beautiful we're all learning how to level and grade and everything like that and as y'all can see that corner dips way down so we actually had to use three blocks instead of two and that one in that side all the way up there only has one block so we kind of have a slope going this way and we got a slope kind of going catty corner down on that back corner there so it's quite interesting so that is the update on the old shop it is going to be beautiful we're going to have two sliding doors on both sides i'm pretty sure it's going to be super super awesome today we are going to be milling up some logs we got our neighbor back here again he needed some logs milled up so i told him come on over so we needed we already needed some logs milled up for our shop so we were already going we were already going to have the uh sawmill up and going so anyway that's what we're going to be up to today we have a lot more stuff going on today but this is one of the many things that we have to get done today is milling up some logs
is a 12 by 12. That was a hunk of piece of wood. He wants these for support beams to hold up his boat, so I think that might just do the job, maybe. That's it for today. So today I am doing a review on the Mastery House uh, milk frother. This is a 20 ounce uh, electromagnet milk frother that a company has gladly sent to us for us to review. So we are going to be making some recipes in it and telling you all what we think about it. First impressions looks amazing. Uh, it's pretty nice, seamless design with no uh, with electronic magnets. It, there's no uh, actual thing going through the container which is very nice you don't have to clean around anything and everything is removable it comes with a cleaning brush uh, this is for making hot chocolate or a chocolate drink and then uh, there's three different settings of milk broth that you can choose from and then there's also three different temperatures which you can choose from 120 140 and 160 and this is solid stainless steel so super cool so I'm starting by cleaning this out with uh, some soap and water just to clean this out. So I don't need the heat on. So I just turn it on that mode and then you just turn on the highest setting, turn it on, and it's spinning. It's super quiet. Seriously? Yeah. Here, I'll show you. When you take off the cap. That, that's what the milk will look like. See any froth foam? So over here I have our walnut milk. And we wanted to froth something for the first time that was really high fat. So we were thinking either like an almond milk or walnut milk would be really good to put in it. So we're so excited to make some different recipes in that. I mean, not just frothing the milk for our coffee, but also hot chocolate and uh, some maca tea. We're really excited about doing that too. We love our almond cow. Highly recommend, guys, that you get yourself a nut milk machine, and if possible, get an almond cow. We use this at least once a day, often twice a day. This machine has paid for itself a hundred times over. So, um, helpful tip, when you get it, uh, you'll receive it and it'll be like this. It probably won't work flip it this way that way the magnets are facing the bottom and then if you are blending up anything that's large in size you put this one top of all that but we are just doing hot chocolate milk with no chocolate chips just cocoa powder so that's gonna be easy so you're going I'm going to the uh, like the halfway uh, I, well I'll actually go all the way up okay mm -hmm. so is there a max line in there yeah there's a max line if okay. I can here I'll spin it around to show you all right Oh yeah, I see it now. So there's a min line, a max line, and a halfway mark. That's right. Fill it up to the max. If you were smart, you'd probably fill it a little under the max and then add all the stuff so it would come up to the max, but. Why are you putting it on the top part? It blends, it says use it when you do hot chocolate, so I am. Okay. So you're just gonna put like. Two scoops. Two, two tablespoons in there. And then we got some local honey from our farm, so. Super local. So this is uh, some really thick, beautiful, honey. That, beautiful honey. Beautiful. Yep. Raw can, organic honey. Raw organic honey. No pesticides. No herbicides. Nothing like that. So you can get it over at thetexasboys.com. As you can see, it's Damn. spinning. So you set it for a hundred. So this doesn't just froth your. It's, it steams. It steams. Yep. Or you can have it if you want it to keep it cold. Then you would just not. Steam. You just don't turn it on. Just froth it. I like how the top you can like see through it. Alrighty, so it is all done and mixed up. Looks really good. Hmm. Dude, look at that. But it's really good. Yeah. yeah super super sweet. cool. Super cool, dude. Alrighty, y'all. So if you want to uh, scoop one of these up, we'll leave the link in the description below. You'll definitely be seeing this in future videos. Uh, this is, seems like a super awesome product. Go check them out.